How's it going guys? Archer Black C, aka the Raging Cajun here. And it is Digi Time again, folks. Uh, I know I had a Bakugan video there. Uh, I like to keep up with my Bakugan people uh, as we move along through this little adventure of a YouTube channel. Um, but today I wanted to do something kind of cool, uh, kind of a two-part video. I want to talk about a card that was just revealed. I normally don't do card reveal talk things, but this one's pretty cool. I thought I'd at least give my two cents. Um, but really, what I really want to do right now is show off uh, some of my new channel art. And uh, a lot of what I'm trying to do here is shout out um, my man Carlo. Uh, if you need a new map created or some artwork or anything, a new avatar, or you just want a really cool picture of a Digimon, this man, Carlo, is an animal. All right, uh, go follow him here on Twitter. You can message him. His commissions are open. Um, but this dude is a beast. Uh, big fan of his work. Um, I had actually found uh, a picture of uh, Machine German from the uh, new anime um, that was really dope. And uh, I had reached out to him before. I was like, hey, um, I'm going to make some memory trackers. Um, and I would like to make use your art as, as the background. And, you know, I was just putting it and I made it on Photoshop and showed it to him. He was like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, you can use it. Um, because I was putting it on videos and stuff and I didn't want it to make it seem like it was mine. Um, and I hit him up and I was like, hey, would you be interested in doing like some channel art for me? Have a YouTube channel and stuff like that. Uh, and he was like, yeah, 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 that'd be really cool. Um, so he went all out. <laughs> Some of y'all probably have seen my uh, new channel avatar. If you haven't, um, this is it. Uh, this is me. Um, pictures up on the screen, but like I'm doing like a uh, little angry face right there. Um, but yeah, dude, this thing is so cool. Um, he, I, I gave him like an inspiration page and I, I sent him my old avatar uh, that my buddy Briar626 made for me. Um, and it was you know, Bakugan themed. I had a little Bakugan in my hand. So Carlo took it and put a Digimon shirt on me uh, and put a, uh, the the new uh, Digimon card in my hand. And it's actually really, really cool. Um, I love this thing. Uh, I love having like a channel avatar, you know. Um, I use it for like promotional things and stuff. Uh, Twitter posts, thumbnails, stuff like that. So I just like to have stuff like this. But I was like, hey, can you put my two favorite Digimon behind me? And he was like, oh yeah, sure. So then he goes, and one of the first things he sent me uh, was Imperial Jimon, who is of course one of my favorite Digimon. Uh, and wow, he did such a good job. It's such a like visceral, angry looking Imperial Jimon dragon mode. Um, I know it's probably sacrilegious, but I'm not the biggest fan of Paladin mode or whatever. Uh, or fighter mode, but the one where you're standing up, um, dragon mode, ooh man, that thing gets me going. Uh, when I got it in Cyber Sleuth, I was so hyped, <laughs> I, I really was. But man, look at this thing. I got it up on the screen here for you to look at. Uh, it is just beautiful, and you put like the uh, the big photon laser on his back. Uh, it's so, so cool, man. And I'll show you when we get to the full art, which is really dope. And then uh, Machine Jermon, because of the episode I was referencing earlier, <laughs> has become one of my favorite Digimon. I know it's a lot of other people's favorite Digimon. Uh, and I'm kind of like a dinosaur kind of guy. I like dinosaur stuff. My Bakugan people uh, know where I'm coming from with that. Uh, but Machine Jermon's right up my alley, man. He's so cool. And like the like lore behind him and like how like the different pieces up of him make up other Digimon, that branch that can eventually evolve to him anyway. Uh, and then his evolution itself is really dope but look at this art man this is all completely custom carlo does this from scratch man he's so so good and has such great like little details but then like the posing and the grand scope of the piece is just really cool and i say that because this which you might have seen before if you keep track of me at all is my new full channel art um it should be up on my like channel uh banner uh, but I was having trouble putting that up there. So if, if it's not, it will be soon. Um, but it is my Twitter banner now. Um, this is so cool. We were kind of going back and forth. And that's another cool thing about Carlo, man. Uh, if you do decide to do a commission through him, um, he will be very attentive. And, you know, we kind of talked this out. It started out as one idea, like having them face me or like off to the side or something like that. Um, but I was like, hey, no, put me in between them. 
and have them like coming out from the side of me. And then we got inspired, me and him got inspiration from another artist who had drawn the Digimon coming out of the cards. And I was like, okay, we have to do that because that fits with my channel theme and everything. And he was like, oh yeah, we can definitely do that. And so he's got the, he's got the cards sitting behind the art there. Oh man, it's just, oh, I'm such a big fan of this. It's so, so good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do my best to turn this into a mat. Um, I don't want to put all the zones on it or anything. I'm just going to put the memory gauge at the top uh, and just let the artwork truly shine. Uh, I'll probably be getting that done here uh, in a little while, um, but I'm super, super high up about it. Please, please go check out Carlo. Um, even if you don't want to get a commission from him, go like his artwork, go find him on uh, his Instagram. He posts all his stuff there uh, and his Twitter. He, he shares a lot of great artists too. And a lot of it is Digimon themed. So if you are a Digi nerd like me, go check out Carlo. He is an insane artist. Uh, and I hope you guys go and question him about commissions. Um, fair warning, uh, you know, I myself appreciate artwork very much. I'm always very careful to be sure that I am paying an artist what they deserve. Uh, if you are not sure what artist commissions can run for, please do some research before you approach somebody uh, to commission an artwork. You have to understand that you are paying for the person's time as well as their skills. So um, I, I paid a price I thought was very fair and because I liked it so much, I even gave him a little extra just to show my gratitude for how great this was and for also using his artwork in the past as well. So Carlo, Thank you very much. This has been really awesome. I love my artwork uh, and I really hope that this video gets you some more popularity. Your work is fantastic. Thanks, man. Okay, so um, the second part of this video, which I really want to talk about, um, there were two tamers revealed recently. Uh, some of the, um, and again, this is moving into like Japan meta stuff, which is stuff we're not gonna see for a long time. Bear that in mind, we won't see this for a very long time. <laughs> Um, but two tamers were revealed for the new Japanese set, which is like the Omnimon set. Um, and they're both from Cyber Sleuth, which is dope. If you haven't played Cyber Sleuth yet, play it. I'm halfway through it because I got distracted with things and I'm a terrible person and I don't finish video games that well. Um, but I love every second of Cyber Sleuth when I get a chance to play it. I'm halfway through. I just got my Imperial Jamon. He's dope. My Machine Jamon's in there, even though I don't think he's very good. So hopefully when I evolve him into, uh, I think it's Chaos Jamon, maybe? Something like that. I forget. Um, he'll be a little better, but by himself, Machine Jamon's not that good. Unless I'm using him wrong. I don't know. Check out Cyber Sleuth. Anyway, so the Cyber Sleuth Tamers have been revealed, and they are White Tamers, which is really cool. Um, which is interesting, though, in, in the fact that, well, we'll talk about it, but... We haven't seen white tamers, obviously, and the only white cards we've seen have been Digimon, like the level sevens or Omnimon um, and Diaboramon, and like his tokens and stuff have been white. Other than that, not much else, or if any, that I can't think about. Um, but the first one we got was uh, Takumi Aiba, or Aiba, whatever you want to say, um, and he's really interesting. He's a two cost to play, right? Um, and when you Digivolve, all right, so you play him for two, your turn, when you Digivolve, you can suspend this Tamer to trigger draw one. Uh, so draw one card from your deck. Um, and then his, which we'll, we'll go back and talk about him. His secondary effect is all level three Digimon on all turns, not just yours, not just your opponents. All level three Digimon gain, when attacking, lose one memory. Um, this card's really cool. Uh, it's not, um, I, I don't wanna say what it isn't. It is really, really good. A two cost to play card that allows you to draw cards more often is really, really cool. And it's not limited to once per turn. It is when you digivolve for you, for two. This card pays for itself in like a turn and a half, maybe just one turn, depending on what kind of memory you're working with here. The ability to draw cards uh, in this game, which it seems like, you know, you're drawing cards all the time from evolving, but gaining cards in this game it feels really good and it can help you get out of some sticky situations now moving on to that second effect um all level three digimon gain when attacking lose one memory um yes this is just like the direct like slap in the face for rookie rush players um 
but it also like, you know, kind of stops some things, right? Um, we have like the Bushiagi Agumon coming soon. Uh, well, not soon, but it's coming. Um, that's a level three and, you know, that card costs a lot to play. And then at the same time, now you have to pay one more to attack with it and stuff like that. Um, uh, but I mean, yes, the obvious <laughs> application for this would be to kind of mess with Rookie Rush players. Um, you know, a common thing that we practice is if you're playing Rookie Rush, play a blocker. If you can, play another blocker and then work from there because they can't swing over the blockers. And if they do try to swing into the blockers, obviously you block them and kill them. Or, you know, you let them swing one, block the other one, kind of open their field up. And then on your turn, you swing in and just kind of clear their board. Yes, Rookie Rush is going to play, you know, um, Gaia Force and removal and stuff like that to try to stay with a big board. Um, but just the fact that this, if you play a couple of these, <laughs> they're kind of done. Like once you get like two of these out, like say you played one and then Rookie Rush hits you and they hit one in security or something, it's just kind of like, okay, do you want to go to game two or do you want to, <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Um, I don't know. Abe is really cool, but the one I'm just really, really excited about because of the applications it has moving forward is the next card. Nokia Shiramine, Shira, Shiramine, Shiramine sounds more accurate. Um, this is a tamer card that is white. It has a play cost of three and it is a rare, which is normally what the tamers run at. Um, it's very, very interesting. Again, on play, three cost. On play, you may play one Agumon or Gabumon from your hand without paying its cost. So you're dropping three to play a card that usually costs three. So you're getting a two for one deal right off the bat. Um, you win Digivolving, uh, the main effect, when Digivolving one of your Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand with Greymon, Garurumon, or Omnimon in its name, you can suspend Nokia and reduce its cost by one. This card is so interesting and opens up so many pathways for this game moving forward for as long as it's gonna last as long as it's like legal because now every Agumon every Greymon every Garurumon every Gabumon anything with that in its name now becomes just a little bit more playable if you're playing this card and again you're kind of getting the worth out of the way by playing her because you're playing her and playing something else so that looks to the point, okay, so what cool Agumons and Gabumons do we have that have on play effects? Well, your first thought might be the Draw Gabumon, right? That's play three for Nokia, play Draw Gabumon for free, and then now you get to draw a card. That is a really cool combo you can do. Uh, there are some of the Agumons that are play playable, like the Agumon from this new Japanese set that says on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck add one Digimon with Greymon and one uh, card with Omnimon in its name. Um, that's pretty cool because obviously you're playing into its other effect, speaking of Nokia, uh, to evolve for cheaper. Um, a lot of the cool Greymons are going to be like the level four Greymons cost two to evolve. Uh, so the Greymon from this set says when Digivolving, if this dig Digimon has Agumon and stipulation sources, gain a memory so you're gaining a memory you you play it you play it for free because you're playing the Greymon on top of the Agumon that you played because of the Nokia and it, you're just saving a bunch of memory here if y'all see where I'm going so you've now played Nokia for three you've played an Agumon search your deck oh I got me this Greymon I'm gonna play this Greymon that now costs one because of Nokia but it's actually costing zero because I'm playing it on top of that Agumon right um so now i've got to a level four for three from evolving and i've drawn drawn for evolving twice or no drawn for evolving um other things of course there are other greymon the starter deck greymon which is m my favorite level four in the game uh obviously that just gives you security attack um i think nokia is going to open up the way for all kinds of different plays 
This is one that I'm really excited about, is playing the Geograymon, the red Geograymon that's coming out soon. Uh, you're going to be playing this for one, because of Nokia. Uh, you're evolving for one, so you draw a card, evolve for one memory, then you can Digiburst two, and kill something that's 4k or less, and I think that that's really interesting. Really aggro, uh, kind of helps you against, you know, people who are kind of building up little sideboards on the, on the, beside their big things or just, you know, kind of halting them in the first place. Um, this is kind of, if you're having multiple Nokia out, but still the fact remains, um, you have ancient Greymon and also the other ancient Garurumon, um, which are very expensive. You know, they cost five to play. Uh, so being able to reduce that to maybe a three cost makes this card incredible. Um, it's up on the screen if you haven't seen the effect. And then there's other things like Blitz Greymon. And all I'm doing, guys, is going to digimoncard.dev, typing in Greymon, typing in Agumon, typing in Gabumon, and Garurumon, and seeing what Nokia can help with. Take everything you're looking at and either think of the Agumon and Gabumon as free with Nokia, or think of all the evolutions that say Greymon or Gabumon or Garurumon in the name. Uh, and minus those evolution costs by one per Nokia you have on the field. Um, it's very interesting. I recommend you guys go check this out. I'm not like a data analysis person. This is not normally what I do here on this channel. I just thought that this was really interesting uh, and we had like a really long conversation about it, you know, between all of us when the card came out and I thought it was something I wanted to bring to you guys. Post in the comments. I want to hear your guys' ideas for cool combos that can happen or what you think could happen with this card, or, or either of them, Iba or Nokia. Um, they're both really cool, and I want to have conversations about it. So post in the comments, guys. This is where the video is going to cut off because my brain doesn't do this well until I'm playing the game. So <laughs> this is why I don't do these videos often. Let's talk about it in the comments. Find me on Twitter. Let's blow this stuff up and, and have a good time. Again, go check out Carlo. He is a beast. Uh, link to his Twitter down in the description. Y'all go get a commission from him. Um, I think his like single Digimon commissions are quite inexpensive, and I think it's worth it. Y'all go check him out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.